going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. The Body Beat down here, Michael, is at your service. It's Friday afternoon. It's about 4.30ish, almost 4.30. I'm a little bit behind. Fridays, uh, I have to go to the bus garage, turn paperwork in, fill up the bus, etc., etc. So I get home a little later and uh, I get my pre-workout made and I go ahead and start my supper and then uh, you know, I eat my pre-workout and kind of wait for a few minutes and all that good stuff. So I'm usually about 30 minutes behind or so. And today I might be a smidgen bit more behind because I'm going to do this little video here. Uh, today is back day, but right now we're going to be doing a, a video talking about the differences uh, between a barbell and some dumbbells. And in this demonstration, I'm not going to be putting any weights on uh, either of the bars. Uh, we're just going to talk about some differences and uh, why I believe that you definitely need both in your routine and why sometimes I think the old dumbbell plays a more important role. So uh, let's get started and we'll try to make this video kind of quick guys. Alright, we're going to demonstrate a typical flat bench press with a barbell. and uh, hopes that I don't knock anything over. So we're basically, you're gonna take it off the, the J-hooks, the, the rag, the uprights, whatever you got going on, and notice how your arms are locked. Notice how everything is locked in place, like this, like this. When you come down, you're coming down like so. Everything is locked into place. Your shoulders, your arms, your elbows, everything's locked in. Your wrists, everything. Locked. It's all stationary. Oh. Let's look at a dumbbell. Not me, uh, the dumbbells. Alright guys, right here we have some typical dumbbell handles. Of course, yours will have weights on them. I hope. So we're going to look at the dumbbells. A typical dumbbell, a typical dumbbell flat bench, you're going to have the weights here, you're going to go back with them, instantly your arms are going to be doing this. Not only are your wrists doing this, but your elbows are doing this, your shoulders are doing this, your body is doing this, and you're all over the place. And then once you finally get situated, you gotta press. And come down, and get a press. And this whole time, you're having to keep these arms under control. There is no stability like there is with a bar. When you come down, it's all loosey-goosey here. Up. All that range, notice all the range of motion that you have with dumbbells. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. Now the good thing is, is it works your body out. Uh, the muscles, the supporting muscles, the tissues, everything, it works it out amazingly uh, compared to the barbell. Why? Because of all the movement that you have going on, you're having to completely stabilize these two separate hands that are not held together by one bar. Uh, people like to put down Smith machines and people like to put down other uh, gym machines and cable machines and leverage machines and other different machines and all that they swear by is a barbell. Well, I can tell you right now, you're gonna push some heavy weight with a barbell and the barbell is tried and true. All right, there's nothing wrong with a barbell, but you're going to build, you're going to sculpt a body with your dumbbells a little better than you will a barbell. And you're going to learn how to use those stabilizer muscles and uh, connective tissue and all that good stuff. You're going to learn how to use that a lot more when you're using dumbbells than when you will a barbell. To me, a barbell is, it's not a machine. I wouldn't call it a machine, 
But when you look at it in comparison, uh, it's a, a barbell is almost as stable as a Smith machine. You can go backwards and forwards and there is some balance to it, for sure. But compared to dumbbells, there's no comparison. So uh, there's one little tidbit of advice, a little bit of comparison right there. Let's do another movement just to kind of show a little bit of uh, differences there as well. All right, guys, as you see, we got the barbell in our hand again. Now we're going to demonstrate a seated shoulder press with the barbell. Again, unweighted. So basically, you'll be taking it off your, your uprights, your rack, your, your J hooks, whatever it is you're using. And you're going to have this basic form. Boom. Two. Your arms are locked in. There's a sense of balance there, forward and backwards. You know, there's a little sense of balance, but it's no more than whenever you're benching with it. And you're going up and you're down and everything's locked into place. Your, your wrists are not gonna go anywhere. Your shoulders are pretty much locked into a single plane. Your elbows are pretty much locked in. Everything's pretty much locked in. When you're using this barbell, everything's pretty locked in. Notice, it's all moving the same time. Nothing's going anywhere. Now let's compare the dumbbells again. All right, guys, here we have the dumbbell handles. Let's demonstrate a shoulder press with dumbbells. Okay? When you're sitting here, you've got to kick the dumbbells up. Boom. Boom. Now you're not just going to kick them up. you got to get prepared. Okay? It's not just as easy as taking one bar and doing this and everything's locked into place. All this is moving again. Your elbows, your wrists, your shoulders, everything is in jeopardy of moving and being thrown out of position uh, not only possibly hurting you, but uh, jeopardizing your lift and making it sloppy or uh, just not getting a good rep or a good set done. So whenever you get these dumbbells, you get them on your legs right here, you get them ready. Now for me, since I have bad elbows and wrists, I really have to concentrate and make sure that I'm, I am ready for this lift when I'm using a heavier dumbbell. I get those elbows tucked in, I make sure that my wrists are locked as tight and as straight and as stern and firm as they can be on those handles. There's no play. They are locked right in. My elbows are locked in and almost tucked into my gut. Okay? So then, you knee up that dumbbell. You get it up in place. You come forward. You knee this one up. You keep that elbow tucked in and that wrist firm. You kick that dumbbell up like so. You get them set and situated. Now at this point in time, you're going to notice a lot more play in the weights than you will with the barbell, okay? So you got to get those dumbbells and you got to get those wrists and you got to get those elbows nice and, and uh, strict and firm and uh, in place and ready to press and keep your form all while keeping all this in mind, all these different movements, all, this different, all these different things that we're talking about, you got to keep it all in your mind all while you're moving. So when you're moving and doing the dumbbells, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you're not trying to fly away, you're not doing anything crazy, you're keeping them as decent as you can, depending on the weight of course, and you're, you're thinking the whole time about every rep, okay, now I gotta get these weights down back where they were. Well you don't just wanna willy nilly throw them, throw them down and and uh, you know, throw your arms out. You want to get bad shoulders, you want to get bad elbows, you want to get bad wrists, you want to hurt something, you want to pull something, rip something, then uh, do it the stupid way. Otherwise, take control and make sure you're thinking the whole time. All right, I got to get these weights down, boom. It comes down, keep that elbow tight, boom. Your wrists are locked in tight, boom. 
the elbow comes down, boom. And I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of showing you how it would be if you kind of got heavy weights. You know, lighter weights are not a big deal. But when you're handling the 80s or 100s, it's a big deal, you know. So you keep those elbows tucked, they come down, and uh, at that point in time, you're good. I hope you're seeing the differences here uh, between a barbell and dumbbells. Uh, both of them uh, have their place in your workout, and both of them can work you out immensely and wonderfully. And uh, again, um, sometimes you might be doing a certain weight with a barbell, and you might try to do that same weight with a dumbbell, but you might not get that weight because it's more difficult than it might be with the barbell because you have all that freedom. A barbell, again, again, it's just one piece of metal and your, and your body is locked into that one piece of metal. Okay? We're locked in here. Okay? So when you come off that rack, when you come off that rack, everything's locked in. You don't have elbows. I can't even turn my arms. I can't do anything because it's locked in. I can't turn my wrist. I can't really do anything with my elbows but move them forward and backward. My shoulders, side to side, and just little movements like so. Very, very, very limited. Almost like a machine, guys. Almost like a machine. So when you come up, you don't have all that play. It's all moving at the same time. You're connected by one bar, okay? Well, anyways, I kind of wanted to just kind of touch on the subject. That's kind of a quick uh, kind of a view on uh, the differences and uh, how, how they can both be utilized. Um, I'm, I kind of came across this. I kind of thought about doing this video after uh, getting meeting my PR last week on my barbell uh, shoulder press of 245 pounds for one rep off my machine, uh, off, uh, you know, the rack. And, uh, and then yesterday, on my shoulder day, I did the 100 pound dumbbells by myself with no help getting them up for three reps. And after doing that, I got to thinking, well, let me do a video just kind of talking about the differences in the, in the dumbbell and the barbell and how I see it uh, and uh, what I've experienced and what you'll experience as well. You're going to experience two different things. So. Uh, utilize the barbell, but also utilize the dumbbells because it's all needed, guys, and it's all going to build the strength. It's all it's going to build the size. It's going to build the connective tissues, and all that together is going to build a strong body. And uh, you'll be happier if you did. So I hope you enjoyed the little video here of just kind of demonstrating the differences and, uh, and all that good stuff. So please, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me. Michael, your semi-incredible host. And I uh, hope you have a good day. I'm fixing the workout back. I'm way behind schedule now. And uh, anyway, so get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Dumbbells, barbell. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.